Hey everyone, this is Fiona, and in this video I wanted to cover a different topic, slightly different topic. So, as you know, I've actually raised hens pretty much my whole life. I've actually had a few roosters, but they're not illegal where I live. Um, so I've been around chickens, I've had them as pets, they're great, they're great pets. They, they produce eggs, they eat the bugs, they eat your leftover scraps. Uh, you could use the chicken poop as manure and you put it in the compost, and it's really good for the plants. So just all around, they are a very, a very great pet to have. And they're also pretty hardy. The only setback though with having chickens is that everything wants to eat your pet. So the biggest problem I had was raccoons and hawks, but mostly the hawks, okay? With the raccoons, you can just keep the chickens locked up at night and then they won't get attacked. But with the hawks, the hawks hunt at uh, during the daylight. So what I did that solved my problem was I took, I would take uh, two CDs, put them back to back like this, so the shiny side was out, and I would attach it using a fishing wire or a piece of thread, and I would hang these all over the backyard so that you have this kind of disco ball effect. Like, you know, you can kind of see the, um, it kind of reflecting the light in the room. And so what this does, you know, because the hawk has such good eyesight and it, if, if it sees something moving, it's going to follow it. But when you put a bunch of like reflective lights in your backyard and it looks like a disco ball sort of thing going on, it tricks the hawk. So it actually, um, it, it almost confuses the hawk. So it can't really see the chicken. The chicken kind of blends more in with the, with the background the the grass the the shrubs the leaves and then what stands out is this flickering light you know that gets reflected on the ground so i hung around i don't know maybe 20 of these and they just you know make sure they can spin because you want that light to move some people say these don't work but when i looked at their video they were just keeping them like they just put them on the plant like stationary and the, there's not going to be any movement what you want is the reflective light to be in motion and that's going to trick the hawk's eye. So do that. And once I did that, I had no more hawk attacks. Another thing, if you want to be even more careful is you can actually hang, uh, you could either do like a netting across the area where they hang out, or you can just kind of carefully place a few, uh, almost like clothing line, clothing lines, like across your yard. I know it's not the the most attractive thing but basically the hawk when it flies down it wants to know that once it grabs its prey it can easily fly back up so you know when you have these intersecting lines and i think i only did like two or three lines like in the chicken run area before i figured out this idea this this idea was the brilliant idea but before i did that um i was doing like intersecting lines in their chicken run and it just it kind of looked a little bit messy so i wanted to move to a different kind of way of getting rid of the hawks. But um, yeah, that's another thing you can do because when they come down and grab the chicken, that's, and flying back up, they're moving against gravity. And also they have this heavy chicken that they have to now hold. And actually the few times that I was able to save a chicken was when they were trying to flap, fly away because it took, the chicken was so heavy. So, you know, I threw a broom at it, you throw sticks, whatever you can to kind of scare the hawk away. But We've had so many hawk attacks with our chickens and I just, I'm so glad I found out this idea. I think this was actually from, I don't know where I heard about this idea, but I think a friend had said that they had done the same thing with their rabbits when the rabbits were running outside and they would use the light to kind of detract predators. So yeah, just fishing wire and you hang two CDs back to back like this and just make sure it's, you know, it reflects the light that it can move freely like this and it will prevent your uh, chickens from getting attacked by hawks. Another thing I've heard is that crows and hawks don't get along. So if you have like a black chicken, like a black astrolorp, um, that can kind of prevent, you know, hawks from attacking because, you know, uh, crows are kind of, yeah, they're kind of uh, in competition with each other. So I don't know so much about that. I don't, I had some black astrolarps and they still seem to attack my chickens, but what really worked was the CDs. So anyways, thanks for watching.